The Linux terminal is probably the most powerful tool on your computer. It can do almost anything a GUI can do, only better, faster and more flexibly. It's the Swiss army knife of computing. Yet, how often do you actually use it? If it's so incredible, why don't we use it more? The truth is, using the terminal for everyday tasks can be clunky. Switching tasks isn't as seamless as flipping between apps and closing a terminal errors all the history. All the terminal windows are generally grouped together in the dash or the taskbar, so that's a mess. But what if you could unlock the terminal's full potential? Effortlessly switch between multiple terminals, keep sessions running even after closing the terminal window and build streamlined workflows, all without even touching the mouse. Step into the world of Tmux, the ultimate solution to terminal clutter and chaos. Picture this, opening literally infinite terminal sessions in a single terminal window and getting back all your progress even after closing the terminal. Tmux or the Terminal Multiplexer is one tool that truly unlocks your terminal's full potential. In this video, we'll dive deep into the magic of Tmux and transform you from a terminal dabbler into a multitasking master. Get ready to transform your terminal into a powerhouse of productivity with infinite flexibility and control at your fingertips. Let's jump right in. While the regular Linux terminal lets you do one operation at a time per terminal, Tmux gives you infinite flexibility here. You can run any number of tasks parallelly in a single window. Yup, any number of tasks. And at the same time, Tmux lets you stay very organized with your terminal operation so that you can stay productive and actually get some work done. This is achieved using sessions, windows and paint. Let's start with sessions. You'll love this. You can simply start a Tmux session by opening a terminal and typing in Tmux and hit enter. This launches a Tmux session. You'll see this green vertical bar at the bottom of the terminal when you're running Tmux. And this little green strip can be very useful as you'll see in a bit. Let's go and run a command, sudo apt update. And while it's running, oh no, I closed the terminal by accident. Now this is the beauty of Tmux. When you close the terminal, Tmux preserves your session and in fact keeps it running in the background. Let's open up a new terminal and run Tmux ls to see a list of all the Tmux sessions running in the background. You can see I have one session running here. This zero is the name of the session. By default, Tmux names sessions with numbers starting from 0, 1, 2, 3. We'll see how to name our own sessions, but right now we have 0 here and we'll log back into that session. For that, we use the Tmux attach hyphen T followed by the session name that is 0 and hit enter. Boom! We not only get back to the apt command that we ran earlier, but you can also see that it has completed running in the background even after we close the terminal. How cool is that? With Tmux, closing the terminal window doesn't actually stop the process. It just shifts it into background, which is available for you to get back to any moment you want. In Tmux, this is called detaching the session. When you close the terminal, instead of terminating the process, Tmux just detaches that session, but it preserves the state and history of the terminal. If any command is still processing, it is allowed to complete the process. You can see how useful this is going to be for developers who start servers and want to continue running in the background, or for system admins who are running continuous monitoring tools. We can also manually detach terminal sessions. We press Ctrl B and then press D for detach. This doesn't kill the terminal but just puts the terminal session in the background. This is called detaching in Tmux lingo. But what if you don't want to detach a session? You just want to close close a terminal or you want to kill a terminal. For that, you just press Ctrl B and then the ampersand, that is Shift plus 7. You will get a confirmation prompt in the bottom panel and you just press Y to kill that session. The kill sessions, they are gone permanently and you cannot get back to them. Remember, Ctrl plus B is the prefix key in Tmux. For any special command that you want to give to Tmux, you press Ctrl plus B. When you press Ctrl plus B, you're basically telling Tmux, I'm about to give you a command. You follow that up with another key to issue a command. We saw two such commands, Ctrl plus B followed by D to detach and Ctrl plus B followed by the ampersand to kill a terminal window. We can also kill a Tmux session from outside Tmux. Just do a Tmux ls to see a list of running sessions and do Tmux kill session hyphen T 
followed by the session name which happens to be 0 here and hit enter. See? Gone. Tmux sessions are amazing, but Tmux windows are the coolest feature of Tmux. You will agree with me that multitasking or running multiple terminals at the same time is a huge hassle. The terminal windows end up being grouped together and you have no way of discerning which terminal window is doing what. There's just a lot of friction with having multiple terminal windows open at the same time. But Tmux has cracked this code. And just imagine, you're running system resource monitoring, spinning up a server, keeping eyes on logs, updating the system and listening to the radio all from a single terminal session. Tmux lets you do exactly this and a lot more. Let's jump in. Let's start a new Tmux session. But instead of just running Tmux, let's run Tmux new session hyphen yes work. You can do any name instead of work here. Coding, server, anything that helps you identify a session better than just the default 0, 1, 2, 3. Hit enter. You can see the session name here. Let's go ahead and run ls. And I also want to check if I have any new updates. With Tmux, you can open multiple terminal windows in the same terminal session, each working on a different task or a command. Press Ctrl B and then C for create. You can see here along with zero bash, we now have one bash as well. Here let's quickly run sudo apt update and while it's running, I'm going to press Ctrl plus B and zero to go back to my earlier terminal window. Yes, after pressing Ctrl plus B, you can press the number keys corresponding to the different windows at the bottom to jump to that particular window. The active window has a star. Let's go ahead and create one more. Let's run top here. And while it's running, I can go back to my apt command by pressing Ctrl plus B and then the number of the window, that is 1. Ctrl plus B followed by the number of the window lets you switch task as well as context all while not stopping the running task in any other window. You have to agree, this is way smoother and convenient than juggling between multiple terminals or even multiple terminal tabs. One significant advantage Tmux windows have over terminal tabs is you can give names to these windows instead of all of them being bash. Press Ctrl plus B followed by a comma. Now you can edit the name of the window. Once you aptly rename the window, it becomes much easier to keep track of what's going on in which window. With this, you can run multiple things in parallel. You can work in different environments or projects simultaneously all from a single terminal. And if you close that terminal, your session is saved and you can get back to all these windows just by attaching the session using the tmux attach command. This is true multitasking, but tmux takes it one more step ahead and this is my personal favorite thing about tmux. We saw how we can have multiple sessions with tmux and how each session can have multiple parallel windows. Then each window can be divided into multiple panes and what is a pane? Let me show you. In Tmux, press the magic prefix key Ctrl plus B, then press the percentage key that is Shift plus 5 and voila. The window splits into two. You can parallelly start working here. Now notice that this pane has opened in the same window. So with Tmux, you can have multiple sessions running at the same time and each session can have multiple windows running at the same time and then each window can have multiple panes running at the same time. What can I say? Tmux is a powerhouse of multitasking magic. Tmux transforms a single terminal into a command center with infinite possibilities. And if it sounds too explicit, remember, you don't have to use all the features of Tmux. It just gives you all the options. You just use the ones that you need. If you don't want to use windows and just need paints, you do just that. You have full freedom in how you want to use Tmux. Getting back to paints, you can also split these horizontally. Press Ctrl plus B and then press the double quotes. You need to press it with Shift and Split. To switch between these panes, Ctrl B and arrow keys. Fairly simple. You can quickly press multiple arrow keys as well. And you can use Ctrl plus arrow keys to resize the panes after pressing Ctrl plus B that is. And if you end up creating many panes in multiple windows in multiple Tmux sessions, you can get a bird's eye view navigation control by pressing Ctrl plus B, the magic key, and then W. This gives you a top-down view of 
all the Tmux sessions running on your computer, all your windows and all your panes. Use the right arrow key to expand these. Arrow up and down to move and enter to select. And as you are moving the cursor on the entries here, you get a live preview of what's going on in that terminal at the bottom. This completely removes that element of chaos and gives you complete clarity. You need not go on frantically pressing Alt plus Tab searching for windows. And because you have this feature, you can liberally create new terminals and even let them stay running in the background, knowing you can get back to them with pinpoint precision and continue your work and do it all effortlessly. This really brings it all together for Tmux. This view actually lets you use Tmux to its fullest potential. Ctrl plus B, then W. By the way, if you haven't already, check out my course Linux Mastery Express. I've designed this course to level up your Linux skills very quickly. With this course, you'll get so comfortable using the terminal commands that your friends will think you're a Linux wizard. You'll get perfect with the most used, most useful commands and also learn advanced things like using the vEditor and shell scripting as well. Linux Mastery Express, link in the description, do check it out. All these shortcuts and operations can come off as a bit too much or overwhelming and I agree it does feel that way initially. But once you actually start using Tmux, you'll realize that it's actually simpler than it looks. You just got to remember the magic prefix key that is Ctrl plus B here. You can change the prefix key but it's better to keep it at default in the beginning. I've attached a free Tmux beginners cheat sheet in the description below. It will help you get comfortable with Tmux very fast. Anyway, let's go ahead and see Tmux in real life action in its full glory. And we are actually going to do this as a desktop Linux user and not a full blown system administrator. I'll keep this demonstration beginner friendly so that you get a feel of how using Tmux actually feels. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open a new terminal and create a new Tmux session. I'm going to call it multitask. This window is currently called Bash, but I'm going to rename it because giving it an appropriate name will make navigating between these windows easier. I'm going to call this one Web. Okay, I'm going to open a Wikipedia page using the Lynx browser. Now Lynx is a terminal based browser that lets you open a web page in the terminal itself. Yeah, you can do that. To install Lynx, you can just run sudo apt install Lynx. Yes, here it is. Lamborghini Countach. You can even click on links by pressing enter. Next, I'm going to create a new window using Ctrl plus B followed by C. This one is for tasks. I have many things to do today, so I'm going to quickly add my errands in this file here. This terminal is my web browser and this terminal is also my to-do app. The Nano Text Editor is a really cool app. I actually prefer using VI, but Nano is just simpler. Now, I'm going to go ahead and split the terminal into two panes. Use Ctrl plus B followed by the percentage symbol that is Shift plus 5. And you can navigate between these panes by pressing Ctrl plus B followed by the appropriate arrow keys. I'm going to keep the todo.txt file open here and move back to the other terminal pane. You can press Ctrl plus B followed by percentage again to split this terminal one more time. To close a pane, use Ctrl plus B followed by X, press Y to confirm. To split the pane horizontally, use Ctrl plus B followed by double quotes. I'm going to cd into the documents directory, run ls and then move back. A little bit of focus music in the background helps me stay concentrated on work. So I'm going to use the CMUS music player to put on some music here. Yeah, you can do that from the terminal as well. This work music feels like a strong cup of coffee. Of course, I have to mute it in this video because of YouTube's copyright thing. Anyway, I am pumped up. Let's get back to my article using Ctrl plus B followed by 0. You can see how I don't even have to use the mouse for navigation or any of these operations. I have 4 terminals running across 2 windows and 1 window divides them into 3 different panes. This would have been torture if I had opened up 4 different terminal windows without Tmux. You can also conveniently resize these panes using Ctrl plus B and then pressing the arrow keys while still holding the Ctrl key. This is something that I really liked. The really cool thing here is that I can just detach the session. All my work will still be there for me to get back to later. I can even go ahead and completely close that terminal. You're not hearing this, but the music is still playing. As I mentioned earlier, when you close a Tmux session, it not only saves the session, but also keeps the running operations active in the background. 
All right, let me get back to my session by just attaching it. See, it's all here, still running. If things do get messy, like opening up too many windows or panes, you can press Ctrl plus B followed by W to jump into the bird's eye overview. I feel this feature brings everything in Tmux together. While all those features are great, it's the convenient navigation between all these windows and sessions that makes it all so usable. This is simplicity itself. You can just hit enter on any terminal to get back to that particular window. To close the panes, Ctrl plus B followed by X. You can also go ahead and kill the entire Tmux session itself. In my experience, Tmux can be that missing link between you and the terminal. Using Tmux removes many hurdles that come with the command line and this can really change the game for you. Sure, initially it might feel overwhelming, but once you get the hang of it and it happens surprisingly fast, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. Whether you are a developer, system admin or just someone who loves the terminal and wants to use it more, Tmux is a tool worth mastering. Check out the beginner's cheat sheet link in the description to get started. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a big thumbs up. And turn on the notification so that you're the first one to know when anything major happens in the world of Linux. And if you're interested in learning up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux Like a Pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up, check out the top 10 insanely cool Linux terminal apps that you should be using. I've got some really cool ones there, definitely don't miss that. Alright, this is Linux Techs, signing out.